Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are safe, healthy and happy. In this video, we're going to talk about blood supply and nerve supply of face. So under blood supply, we will be dealing with arterial supply, venous drainage and lymphatic drainage. And lastly, we will deal with its nerve supply. So let's start with its arterial supply. The face is supplied by following arteries, namely the facial artery, transverse facial artery and arteries that accompany along the cutaneous nerves. Facial artery is the chief artery that supplies the face via four branches, namely the inferior labial artery supplying the lower lip area, the superior labial artery supplying the upper lip area, the lateral nasal artery supplying the ala and dorsum of nose, and finally the angular artery which is the terminal part of this facial artery. This angular artery continues with the dorsal nasal branch of ophthalmic artery. Next is the transverse facial artery. The transverse facial artery arises from the superficial temporal artery and, and supplies the parotid gland and its overlying skin. Certain other arteries like infraorbital artery and mental artery are small arteries derived from maxillary artery. Next we move on to its venous drainage which is via facial vein and retromandibular vein. Facial vein is the principal vein of the face. It is formed by the union of supratrochlear and supraorbital vein at the medial angle of eye which runs downwards and backwards to unite at the lower border of mandible with the anterior division of retromandibular vein. This finally drains into the internal jugular vein. Retromandibular vein is formed by the union of superficial temporal vein and maxillary vein. It emerges out from the parotid gland and divides itself into two, namely the anterior and the posterior division of retromandibular vein. The anterior division joins the facial vein to ultimately drain into the internal jugular vein, whereas the posterior division of retromandibular vein joins with the posterior auricular vein, which ultimately drains into the external jugular vein. Next is the lymphatic drainage which is via three nodes. The upper area that is the latter part of the forehead, eyelids, cheeks and parotid area drains into the pre-auricular lymph node. Whereas the middle area consisting of middle part of the eyelids, forehead, external nose, upper lip and the cheeks drain into the submandibular lymph node. The lower areas consisting of the lower lips and the chin drain into the submental lymph node. Next is the nerve supply. The sensory supply is via trigeminal and great auricular nerve. Trigeminal nerve, namely the ophthalmic, maxillary and mandibular division, supplies one third of the face respectively. The upper one third part of the face is supplied by ophthalmic division via four branches, namely the supraorbital nerve, supratrochlear, infratrochlear, external nasal nerve and lacrimal nerve. The middle one third is supplied by the maxillary division of trigeminal nerve via three branches namely the infraorbital, zygomaticofacial and zygomaticotemporal nerve. The lower one third part of the face is supplied by mandibular division of trigeminal via three branches namely the mental, buccal and auriculotemporal nerve. The lowest part of the face is via great auricular nerve. The motor supply of the face is via facial nerve through five branches namely the temporal, zygomatic, buccal, mandibular and cervical. The temporal branch supplies the upper part of the muscle around the eye that is orbicularis oculi. The zygomatic branch supplies the lower part of the orbicularis oculi. The buccal branch supplies the muscle around the mouth that is orbicularis oris. The mandibular branch supplies the muscles around the lower lips and the chin. The cervical branch supplies the platysma. This brings me to the end of my video. I hope you liked it and if you did, do like, share and subscribe. Thank you and bye bye for now. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy.